What is going on everybody? This is Ash Kumra with Youngri. We are representing Youngri at the Digital Entertainment World Expo. Youngri is a media partner here. Big ups to Ned Sherman and the whole team for getting us here. And you know, there's been a lot of great interviews and I'm fortunate that the Youngri team is here. A lot of them are here just getting content in, making partnership talks happen. Big ups to Vanessa, Presley, Navi, Raw Hill, and uh, Vince behind the scenes who's doing some of the streaming and the content work for us. And uh, I am not doing a lot of interviews here. I really have a phenomenal team. I feel that they can interview anybody, anytime, anywhere, any place. But when I found out that my good friend Jessica is coming to this expo, I had to pick her brain. A, selfishly, I want to better understand how to be a better at self-branding. And two, I like to think I'm good with tech, but I'm not really. I just know a few things, and I just follow what um, the youngins at Youngry tell me what's cool and hip. So. Um, Jessica, for those who don't know, is literally a rock star, no pun intended. She works with business rock stars. She's a go-to with CBS. She has her, she's a founder of techsesh.co. But most importantly, uh, I think Jessica's someone who is the kind of the go-to. Let's say there's a fire on, what's the latest technology? What is VR? What is that? They call up Jessica. She's, they have like a, they have like a, instead of a bat line, they have like the Jessica line. And, and if you've seen her on camera, she just understands these products. I think the reason is, is because when you see the quality of the content that she does, she talks about things that she actually likes, and she actually is like the consumer. Like, I first met Jessica, she was talking about this thing called Ringling, and um, it was quite an interesting product because like she was talking about it, and it was like, I was like, geez, like you act like you made this product or you're like, totally using it. And that's something I feel that uh, people who are wanting to do self-branding and other types of things need to really understand that whatever you're promoting or whether you're involved with, you have to really enjoy and like it. And hopefully we'll learn more from this expert and just get some insight for anyone who is trying to build their own self-brand, anyone who's an entrepreneur, anyone who's a founder, anyone who's a creator, anyone who's just trying to like get their name out there, this is the interview you have to hear. So thank you for being here. Oh my God, thank you so much for having me here. This is super exciting to finally be on Youngery. I remember we started talking about it at the very early stage and now you have a whole crew which is so exciting. But you know you really did touch upon an important point. Branding is super important. Um, it doesn't matter if you're an accountant, it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity of course, or even you know someone who's just starting out to, to get into the real life and start a career. Branding is super important. It's an extension of who you are. It tells a story. And unless you you brand yourself and tell that story, someone else will tell that story for you. So you'll never have that opportunity to tell people who you are and what you're doing with whatever business you get into, right? So from a very early stage, I have always been into tech, like you said. And it sounds natural because yes, I do love it. And I was a tech reporter for a really long time. Um, not many people know this, but I used to work with LA Times and CNN and CNC. And I've been reporting on tech for a really, really long time now. But I left that world and I decided to start my own thing. So my brand came with me. My followers are an extension of my brand. Every time I send an email or a tweet, that's branding, right? So if you go, for example, today we're at, a, we're, you know, we're going into a panel, meeting people, you're branding, talking to people. Your card is branding, and you need to really show people why you're doing whatever it is that you're doing, and give good examples. And when it comes to social media, which people think is the only outlet for branding, people are really personal, and they may post pictures of, let's say, like the dinner they had last night or the party that they went to. But if you really want to brand yourself, no one will take you seriously with those pictures. So something that I recommend is, well, if you really do want to become an entrepreneur, if you want to become an influencer, if you want to become a serious business person or a lawyer, and you have a Facebook page or an Instagram or whatever social media outlet you have, don't post pictures that are too personal that have nothing to do with your brand. Right? Because it's a killer. I just felt like I have one thing to say. Like, that was a branding mic drop. Like, <laughs> I, I actually have nothing else to ask her. She just, like, she just, like, went into every question I was going to ask. Like, what do you influence you to do? What kind of content to pose? That was amazing. Um, you're welcome. Question, one more question on branding before we get into tech. Um, 
what is the best tool for doing self branding? I mean, I hear you know you got the Snapchat All Stars, you got the IG All Stars, you got people like me who think we're broadcasters at Facebook Live. You got all these like <laughs> we have all these like tools out there. But what do you find a lot of good self branding individuals, whether it's men or women, tend to use? Sure. So in my opinion, I hate to say this out loud, but I feel like Snapchat is just dead right now, for me at least, right? I don't use Snapchat as much as I use Instagram, and I even bought the spectacles, and I'm such a big fan, right? But I actually upload the spectacle videos onto Instagram videos. Oh. And I know that's like totally illegal on Snapchat, you don't want to hear that, right? But I don't want to go onto one media channel and outlet or platform and then go onto another one and repost the same thing. In the past, I tried to be smart about it. At first, I'd post on Snapchat, save the video, then put it onto Instagram, but the video would come out really pixelated and huge. So that, that ruined everything for me. And just because I feel like right now I really connect with my audience on Instagram where you can post links and you can tag other people. I'm on Instagram, and I think for me, branding really happens through Instagram. Okay. Okay. What is the tech gadget that you love to use? Oh my god, the tech gadget that I love to use. Look how excited she got. It's like I just <laughs> asked her, what favorite car do you want? Yeah. Maserati, Ferrari? Uh, yeah, like, exactly. Uh, wow, let me think about that. So, there's just so many different things that I get to try on. Part of my job is, you know, trying the coolest tech out there, yeah. which is super exciting. Uh, the last thing that I actually just used was a wa I'm sorry, a bracelet called the Q bracelet okay. that also charged my phone. And I was going to wear it this morning, but I left it on the charger. <laughs> so that kind of defeated the purpose. Um, but there's really so much great technology coming out all the time. But what excites me the most of everything right now is augmented reality. No, what's the difference between AR and VR? Great question. So augmented reality, which is AR, is something that you can pretty much use um, on a day-to-day -day basis without the, the goggles, without the VR headset. VR, which is virtual reality, it's different because this is something where you need an extra item and that you need to put the, the VR goggles on your head to be able to watch and feel that 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 technology come to life. So something that you can say like would work in a day to day basis is you be walking into a supermarket and a, like a an augmented reality or like a hologram, which is kind of the same thing, would come at you and tell you about the different coupons of the day, right? And then with, uh, with VR, virtual reality, it's more of telling a story. Um, and right now it's super exciting, but I think that the applications are really happening in Hollywood. A lot of people in Hollywood and producers and people in the you know, movie making industry are really focusing on virtual reality okay, right now. Okay. Well, I want to switch to another topic. Um, I feel like I'm actually going to have you for hours because like, you have all this knowledge, but I, I, I want to be respectful of uh, your time. Um, we had an earlier talk um, about streaming, and I have mentioned that I love Facebook Live, and I'm going to tell you a trend that's interesting. So I love crowdfunding. As you know, I did that with Young Rear, our equity crowdfunding campaign. And one thing that I've noticed is that you're going to see more live crowdfunding pitches online. So let's say Young Rear is doing another campaign or a product's doing a campaign. Instead of just doing the offline events, instead of just sending you the cool video to visit our page, we will say, hey, I'm on Facebook Live and here's my product, here's what you like. What do you think of those situations where live streaming can be applicable beyond just the selfie videos or interviews like this? Um, I think you hit it on the head where you love live streaming. Yeah. I love live streaming as well. Yep. I think it's a really great way to connect with an audience. And I think it's also a really great way to monetize whatever you're working on. Because it's like, you're, you know, you're showing a product that you're using in everyday life. And you can talk about it, you can show it, and it's streaming to everyone and anyone. The only issue that I have is analytics. After the fact, how do you see who saw what? And people might not always write comments, right? But the same can go for like Instagram or Facebook too. But um, I think to be live and real and show the audience what you're doing, what it's all about, is definitely a way to, for even companies to kind of jump on the bandwagon, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, in the spirit of self branding, as we adjourn this interview. Uh, first off, I want to honor you. Thank you for doing this interview. Thank you so much. Thank this you. is really good to have you here. Uh, in terms of self branding, where can people find you? Sure. Thank you for that. So you can find me on my blog, which is techsesh.co, or you can find me on Instagram or Twitter, and it's Jessica Naziri. 
And the last name is super easy, which is in case if it's two letters, N-A-Z-I-R-I. Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. It's all about self-branding. It's all about being in tune with technologies. Staying younger, everybody. Cannot wait to show you this video, another amazing video at the Digital Entertainment World Expo. Thank you. Love. Bye.